Alright, welcome back everybody. Now we have three lost sailors it seems we've got to find. And apparently, a bunch of problems. Get off me. Oh, you little bugger. Time to end this. Down, two to go. There's a lot of pathways on this island for it being a hidden island. Just saying. Fountains up and everything. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. <sighs> Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. <laughs> it's a shame so many died. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. Great. 
There's a chest up top as well, damn it. Than me, I'm so sorry. Come on, get up. Oh, nipples, you're a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Now, Bumbun, which way am I meant to be going on this place? Come on, little hoppy, get your butt up here so I can kick your ass. There we go. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Why wait, wait awake? Come on, keep moving. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. This place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. <sighs> Make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. There's always one more half. Eh?
Am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret. That... Oh. Ah. Ah. Dead. Damn. Hey, one regret. You don't know how to climb. friend. I sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. D I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Ravenick told me to have an eye on the snot. It was his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Oh dear. There's gonna be one very angry girl in a minute. Where's her sword? Wait, the firefly. The firefly was Siri.
Clever. Very clever mage. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. Wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalok appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. How do you wind up here? What happened? Last I remember, I was on the Skellica shore, arguing with Avalok. He wanted to take me somewhere safe. After that, nothing but dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I'd dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? 
know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Aridin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. <laughs> Knew he was gonna say that. Damn. Oh. Listen, we gotta think of a way to. Oh shit. How about we just leave now? Portal time. Get us out of here. Now where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. And they'll know where we are. It's our pump. We got an army waiting for him. <laughs> this should be fun. Pacing. <laughs> Welcome back, child. Siri! <sighs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Oh, gold even Triss is here. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. 
No reason to do it out here. Come inside. What on earth is Triss doing here? Time's short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. Glad to see you, Triss. Thank Yennefer. She's the one who invited me. There'll be time to talk later. We should confer now. Uh, on that note, we'll leave it there. And we'll deal with the Wild Hunt in the next one. Oh boy, Triss. Hold on, if Triss is here, that means the rest of the mages might be. Ooh, this could be quite the battle. Alright, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.